Hey, Mike here. In this video, I'm going to show you the AI voice synthesizer script that I made for Obsidian. Now, before we get started, go into your settings and of course, all the way down to text generator. And in here, if you have the latest text generator version, version 0.5.13, which by the way, there are a lot of changes in. If you want me to make a separate video on all of the updates to text generator, please let me know in the comments. In the search field here, make sure to type in script and now you should have it filtered down to the most important part that we need for this video is to allow scripts now for me it's on but for you it's going to be disabled so let's say you have a piece of text as you do right here that you want the ai to read out for you and you don't want to go through this whole process of putting this into some random website you just want to do it locally on your machine First thing you need to do is encase the text that you want to turn into a voice clip, putting it in between these brackets and TTS, brackets TTS. And now when we do forward slash TTS and we have the template here, when we click enter or hit enter, I suppose, and generate, it's going to show you in the top right hand corner, as you see here, generating audio dot dot dot. And that continues until, of course, the audio processes. And now we have the actual clip here. So let's play that and hear how it sounds. Here's some sample text so you can get a clear understanding of how this sounds. If you listen clearly, you can hear artificial breaths in between the pauses or when the AI voice moves on to the next sentence. It's quite an uncanny experience once you listen to it for a while. It's still obviously an AI voice, but we're getting closer and closer to not being able to tell the difference. And there you go. So as you can see, these two parts that were not within the brackets were not included in the text to speech. Now, before we begin, I've taken the time to listen to your feedback from our last video featuring the AI voice synthesizer itself. It's clear that the personal touch of my own voice feels way more natural and engaging. From here until the foreseeable future, I'll be using my own voice in our videos as usual. The script starts by setting up the necessary API key for the OpenAI service, which is essential for authenticating our requests. Then it defines a function to display a revolving notice to the user, providing a visual indication that the audio generation process is underway. We have the core function generate audio and save to vault right here, which takes the text you want to convert to speech and sends it to the OpenAI API. The response from the API is an audio file which the script then saves directly into your Obsidian Vault. This seamless integration is what makes the script so valuable for content creators who want to add an audio dimension to their notes, or let's just say you want to listen to your note in entirety. This script will help you do just that in just a few seconds. The script also includes error handling to catch any issues that might arise during the audio generation process. This ensures that you're informed of any problems and that the script doesn't leave you wondering what went wrong. We finish off by inserting a link to the newly created audio file into your current note. This allows for easy access and playback of the audio right from within Obsidian. You can take inspiration from this script, or if you want to use it in its full quality form, you can download it from our website or Patreon page. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.